for me. Yeah. This other stuff's a little bit tricky. A lot of this stuff is secondary market. Okay. And uh, it's a little bit harder to get rid of. Which is the best for a stacker? Like if somebody just has like a regular budget, they can't necessarily do volume like some of the, like the big boys over here. Like so what do you say? So, so I, I, I'll problem. tell you a crazy, a crazy story about this this box in particular. I What's going on, buddy? What's happening, Stormy? So you took in a buttload of stuff recently. You have uh, all of the gold that's on your desk. Um, I'm just going to show. And we're in the middle of recording something about the uh, the melting process. But talk to me about what you have going on here. So this is a lot of silver I took in yesterday. There's tons of stuff here. This is, uh, start off with this, this is flatware. It's okay. about 500 ounces here. Okay. Of uh, just forks, knives, spoons, uh -huh. trays, you know, a little bit of everything. That gets melted. That's something else. There's some 90% silver, 50 ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, American Silver Eagles. Pick this up, the monster box of Canadian maple leaves, 100 ounce Johnson Matthew bar. Just uh, tons of stuff, tons of beautiful stuff for the website, you know. Now... You got this stuff like a customer brought it in? No, this or? is bought from a dealer. You bought it from a dealer? Yeah, absolutely. And did you just go onto their website and just bought it from no, them? No, they, they, so they schedule appointments with me. Okay. They call and they say, uh, you know, I'm going to be there at 1 o'clock on Friday. Or, uh -huh. You know, they schedule. Everybody's by appointment. A lot of this stuff's locked in beforehand. Too, okay. You know. So they lock it in with you, say, what's your price on this? You're right. like, I could do X amount over spot. Right. And then um, they lock it in. They say, okay, I'll bring you the 3,000 ounces. You, they bring it in. You account for it all, pay them out, and then you go about your way. Yep. Some of this stuff I'll keep. Okay. A lot of the newer stuff goes on the website. Okay, so know. that's just like to fill in some of the back stock right. on your... On your site. On the site, you know, and I get it. I get it a little bit cheaper than I could buy at wholesale, so it, it's a, it's good deal for me. Yeah. This other stuff's a little bit tricky. A lot of this stuff is secondary market. Okay. And uh, it's a little bit harder to get rid of. People just you know, don't want it. It was taken out of the original package. Mm -hmm. They look. A, they're a little scratched. There's surface uh, imperfections on it, so they're a little bit harder to get rid of. But a lot of the newer stuff goes straight to the site. Okay. Know. And do you post? Like the ten ounce bars and everything, like separately. Like you'll take a picture of yeah, this type and then absolutely. you'll post it on there. Yeah. And so this will have its own. This will have its own. Okay. You know, it takes a lot, a while to do. It's all very that. time consuming. Uh, it's very, it's easier when it's something that you've had before and you could just, you just know, I, I just know reload it. Load it up, but like these, I, we were just looking at these. I'm gonna have to go find descriptions for them pictures for them you know that's not like something i normally come across okay you know? those are actually fairly common those, yeah yeah those... I, I just i usually i'm a sunshine mint uh you know the, the, a lot of the common stuff that you see so you what's know? nice about these and one of the selling points is that it's a coin yeah. it's not just a bar because it's got the actual denomination the 10 pounds so while this is you know, a 250 gram bar of silver, and while this is like a 10 ounce bar, it actually happens to be uh, a coin. Out of all of these, because you've got your Eagles, you've got 50 ounce bars, your 10 ounce bars, 250 gram bars, which, you know, here in the States, to, uh, can, kind of throws people off. Yeah, it's, a, it's an odd, odd denomination. Which is the best for a stacker, like if somebody just has like a regular budget, they can't necessarily do volume like some of the, like the big boys over here. Like, so, what do you say? So any of these are like pretty much generic ten ounce bars. This mm -hmm. stuff you get cheap. I'm about to put these on my website for a dollar, dollar twenty five over spot. Okay. You know, that's cheap stuff. Yes, Don't get is. me wrong. This stuff, a little bit of a higher premium. Yeah. You know, but a lot of this stuff, the secondary market stuff, might not even hit the site. Okay. That might just get sold wholesale. Just you know. A lot of it's open. I don't like sending people tarnished stuff and, and secondary market stuff. Yeah. You know. I'll give you this, this these two products right here. This is this must have been purchased from Atmex. This is brand new, you can tell. And then this one was purchased even on the Atmex order. It says uh, secondary market. You can tell this bar is it's beat up, up a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, I'd, I'd ask a little bit more for that one. I got you. Would you be able to get that little bit more? I hope. You know, at a dollar over, you know, less than a dollar, I'll keep it. Isn't that crazy, though? Yeah, like, that's a uh, that's a 50-ounce bar, and you're essentially 
again, and what people don't necessarily realize is that in the precious metals business, it's not like you have these insanely high profit margins. You're really, I mean, a dollar over spot, you can't really get that. I'll, I'll add something even worse in there. Yeah. Right? The market drops 50, 60 cents tomorrow, I'll lose every dollar of profit on this transaction. We'll probably won't even break even. Right. You know, so this stuff has to move fast and it has to be priced right to sell. Right. You know. Right. Um, going over here, okay, this, this right here, the flatware, I've had people ask me, Stormy, do you have a, a shop? Do you have a storefront? I say, no. And I, well, why not? Why don't you do it? Well, number one, I don't know anything about numismatics. I can't tell you key dates. I can't tell you anything. Number two, I don't want like these, you know, 80 year old people walking in with flatware and like, how much can you give me for these forks? And I, you know, I wouldn't know about, I'm like, do you have to... So, Do you have to like rip them? So when you look at these, yeah. uh, like take this for example. They, they it says Sterling right on it. Yes. A lot of them, uh, a lot of them that made the the flatwares, they're proud that it was made out of Sterling or yeah. made out of silver. So they're usually always stamped. Right. You know, any of these pieces you pick up, this one's engraved, but you could see the Sterling sign on it. What's to stop somebody from just taking a piece like that and putting a fake Sterling stamp on you it? You definitely can. You know, those, those stamps, same thing with 14 karat gold. Those stamps are like $5. Right. You could you could stamp anything, but... So what do you do I, to you make know, sure that those are... So I'm a, my, my business, as I was saying, I deal with the dealers, so it's a little bit different. These people already tested it and purchased it and put out their own money for Got it. Got it. You know, it's not like these people are... I'm dealing with the public and... It's questionable, sure. you know, but this was already purchased by dealers just cashing it in, you know. Don't get me wrong. I do my I, I do my homework, too. I look everything over, but right. um, there's a lot of it out there. I see, you know, this is like a normal day. There's probably a lot here, too. I don't know if you can feel this. There's like probably four or five hundred ounces. Oh, that is heavy. Do you have to ever, like, I, this is what I was going to ask you. Do you ever sit back here and start ripping things apart? Or is so this... the customer did that. Okay. So this bag right here is yeah. nice. This is a pain in the neck. It is. It's only the handles are silver. Yes. You know, and uh, to get this off of here is very time consuming. It's a pain in the neck. Oh, I know. You know? I, the, 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 the... So how I, what I do with these is depending on the size, uh -huh. uh, something like this are three to one ounce. I buy it. This is one ounce, three okay. of them. You know, if it was a little bit bigger, I'd do two to one ounce. Okay. So it, it, it's a rule of thumb. You you got to take into consideration the amount of time it takes to pull these off. You do look you, in here. There's a lot. There's a lot of work. Are you doing you know, that? Not or, at all. No. So what do you do? You just send it like that? I send it like that and pray that uh, they have the time to, to do, do it, it. To do it, or you know, I, I wait to get to get my results. You know. Yeah. I mean, I've seen other businesses. You know, I've walked in where they're just doing it by hand themselves they've got their pliers and their tools and they're behind yeah. the desk just I've ripping them off. you know anytime i've ever even these are like uh these are weighted the bottom of weighted candlesticks uh-huh i don't think i've ever broken them apart and not cut myself it's like it's very thin metal yeah and it, it touches itself. your skin and it's just slicing you know the pain in the neck <laughs> so this stuff is ready to go this is going to be melted down to one blob. One big old yeah. bar, but not here because... No, nah, I don't really like doing the melts on silver. This, Like I said, with the problem we're having with the gold, this would be like five bars. That'd and like, you know, it's not even worth it. You know, even if there is a couple hundred ounces of silver, it's less than $10,000. It's not even, like, it's not that big of money. You know? Now your maple leaves, those will go on the website? These were sold. I locked these into uh, with another dealer. Gotcha. Right so, after I bought it. So... Somebody locked it in with you, and then you quickly turned around and locked it in. So I, I, I'll problem. tell you a crazy, a crazy story about this this box in particular. I bought it at twenty three oh five, right? The next day it went up fifteen, twenty, thirty cents, and I said, "Man, I'm going to sit on this, hoping that you know five hundred ounces. If it goes up a dollar, it's an extra five hundred bucks I can make on this." Yeah. The next day it dropped. Oh no! Back down to Not almost. I, I think I locked in at twenty three fifteen. 2317. And you got it at what? 23? 2305. So you right? still made your 10 so cents. So listen, no, 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 the story's not over yet. Oh. The next day it went up 35 cents. Oh, God. You know, so that's the, that's the game you play in, in, in metal sometimes. It's, uh, I think we talked about it last time. We Silver's did. volatile. Yeah. You know, and the, that's a perfect example. The guy I locked it in with, he said, Andrew, why didn't you just buy, lock it in when you bought it? You know, and that's what you should do, lock in your profits and you take like it. You like to but roll the dice a little bit. I roll the dice bit. a little bit, you know, and sometimes it works in my favor, sometimes it doesn't. You said usually, you know? it, it, yeah, you said it, a lot it, of times. It's it, a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> it's definitely nerve wracking. Oh man! I mean, listen. Well, you if... feel this too? This is uh, this is heavy, man. The guy that brought this in was an older gentleman. He had uh, he had a rough time bringing this into my do- into my office. I'm sure. You know? See, <laughs> you you like to roll the dice on the silver. I, I, uh, and you said you hedge on the gold. So um, I take all this is I took all this in yesterday, right? This I locked in just because I didn't want the premium to change on it. Right. 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 This I locked in. This stuff's gonna get uh, divided amongst what I want on my website. Sure. And what I want. But this is pretty much spoken for already. You know, I try not to leave too much exposure going into the weekend. I mean, it's know. it's smart because you know then on Sunday, right, the market opens yeah, and then drop, you know. could drop, and you're sitting at home and you can't really do much. About and don't it. get me wrong, we always talk about it dropping and losing money. It also works the other way too. Yeah, there's been tons of times where I do take that risk and it pays off. Right, it goes up. You right, know, but well, listen, I mean, at least you have you know somewhat of an equal streak, winning and losing. Yeah, it's no, not it, ba- it, it, it balances up. Um. So you're thinking that the ten ounces are the best, essentially, or the or the hundred ounces, like in terms of like just your, your regular, like a stacker. Coming yeah, in bang like, for your buck. I, I I would recommend at a dollar over ten ounce bars is a it's a joke. Are these all silver eagles Those in are here? All silver eagles. And so these are these spoken for too, or no. are you putting those on the site? I, I think I'm putting them on the site. Uh, no. They're right. all every all they're all sealed in Atmex bags. Are you gonna you know? rip them out of there and just stick no, them? No, no, no. They sell them just like this. Okay. See, Atmex has them. They sell them as BU. Yeah. These are all 2023 too. Yeah. They um, but just leaving them in here, they also get dinged up and yeah. what have you. But um, I've also had, you know, when you leave stuff in the coin flips like this, they tarnish. Yeah, they get milk Something spots. with something yeah, yeah, with yeah, the sure. um the plastic tarnishes them. Um, but this is cool. And then, are you going to put all the constitutional on this site? Nah, this that... stuff gets sold wholesale too. Okay. You know, this is one of them products. The premiums change on them constantly. You know, uh, they were as high as eight dollars over, ten dollars over months back. Yes. Now uh, I think I'm at a dollar and change. So the, you know? the premiums have shrunk considerably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the the constitutional silver was. That like one of the cheapest ways to stack silver. Used to trade it at spot, and then yeah, yeah. and then it ended up becoming really expensive, and now you're seeing everything come back down. And particularly halves, halves have a higher premium than the quarters and dimes. How about here's the other thing that's a little I find strange is that people don't really categorize peace dollars and Morgan dollars as junk silver, even though they're the same. Yeah, 90%. No, they're, they're in a different category. They are yeah, in a different yeah. category. Much, much higher. You much even, higher payouts. Yeah, you even put them off on the side there as opposed to being just in here with your regular so standing coin, liberties. And, a coin like this. Or walking liberty. Just even like a, a random Morgan dollar. It only has, I think, $17, $18 in silver. I think I paid $33 for these. Is that because you know? just... Yeah, as a coin. You're not buying it as, as a... It's toned nicely, value. too. Yeah. Um. Well, very cool. I, I you know, this is just crazy that this is just on a any given day you take in this much stuff but it's awesome that you're able to to move it as quickly as you can and um most of it's spoken for already. most of it's spoken yeah. for already well listen i appreciate the time buddy and uh you know i'm looking forward to our next video yeah absolutely man